This to me is a magical place. Both the land, the farms, the history of those that have gone before, I find it to be very much alive. For more than four decades, John Kuykendall's passion has been preserving the seeds and stories of a small Louisiana farming community. John is one of the top bean collectors in the entire world. That term Renaissance man is often overused, but in this case, it's completely appropriate. What he did for me, he does for the world of gardening. He does for chefs globally. This is a lot like Christmas morning. You never know what's gonna be behind that wrapping. A classically trained artist, heirloom seed saver, master gardener for one of America's top resorts, an inspiration. Here we stand with them. I would say most of those articles I've never even seen. Usually I'm too busy worrying about the next crop of peas or beans that I have. While my life and work are in Tennessee now, and have been most of my life, I am very, very deeply rooted to this part of the country, to Washington Parish, and the old farmers and the old ways of life. It's a living connection, not only with the people I know and spend time with, but also the seeds that I grow. Well, the first visit was August of 1973. In the beginning, I just had these tiny little spiral notebooks I carried in my pocket. Ever since that time, I've been recording stories and it's just gone on, escalated over the years. I found myself wanting to preserve everything I could. And then we discovered the journals of John Kirkendall. And I thought to myself, what are we doing with this? It's a number we're trying to figure out. How many beans does John really have? I have something over 500 different varieties. It's almost like going on an archeological dig. Here's an old corn from Washington Parish. Saving rare seeds is critical. In the last 200 years, we've lost 94% of the fruits and vegetables we once grew. It is a race against time because we're in the 11th hour of saving the best of it. What I love about saving seeds is what you've taught me, and that, that is that each bean or seed tells a story. Today we would think of a family heirloom maybe as a photograph or a piece of furniture. That was a living heirloom. Your very survival, your very livelihood. Food becomes interwoven with the fabric of who people are, what home is. Judy, you ready for some? Today, as we reach back out of this crazy world we live in, there's this deep desire within all of us to know from where we came from. John Kirkendall laid it all out for us right here. It is detective work, but I would have to admit, really, it's just raw luck in a lot of cases. This is the unknown pea. This is John found this pea. Gus McGee thought it was ex uh, extinct, but Gussie McGee had it. I feel 100% total obligation. I'm the caretaker. And this is what we're working to save, the history, the heritage, a way of life, a way of farming, a way of cuisine. So while they're still here, we're going to get every single thing we can. He's come to this fair every year. He's a part of this fair. I, I could no more think of not coming back here than I could uh, not eating anymore or breathing. And then I'm giving you a key to the city. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, he has amassed this body of work through these journals and through his paintings. I think even more important than that is the way he's inspired others to pass this knowledge along. You know, I, I ain't never met a pea I didn't like. I hadn't either. <laughs> you may not recognize it in the moment, but it's here's John, this guy in overalls. But if you take the time to pay attention to what he's saying and the knowledge that resides within him, the whole world opens up. I just hope I've got a lot of years left to record a lot more and save a lot more. Deeply rooted, John Kuykendall's journey to save our seeds and stories. Come on, Mr. Rooster, let's go out here and get some breakfast. Coming this fall to Louisiana Public Broadcasting.